especially to our mother. Zeno Tomograph has been, uh, the invention has been for the past 15 years, a very serious uh, invention that has improved a lot of lives in Ukraine. Business like this. Zeno uh, bone traumatism is a serious medical, social, and economic problem. Its severity is defined by the degree of bone, the bone surface. Next slide, please. Next slide. Bone disease involved, the, the process of the treatment of bone disease usually involves four uh, phases. As we know, we have a good standard for treatment of bone patients. We usually have the first phase, which involves the first aid, where all the necessary A, B, C, and D process is made. Done. The second phase involves the uh, treatment with the use of infusion therapies. We have both, uh, both, uh, primary, uh, both primary and compensatory infusion therapies. Then we have the third phase, which involves the transplantation, which involves the use of uh, transplantation processes. Now, after all the process of xenograft, there is always, always a need for biological coverings. Now, these biological coverings involve the use of either the traditional biological coverings, where we use the gauze or the new improved xenographs, which was invented by our renowned professor. Next slide, please. Worldwide, we have different forms of biological coverings. We have the integral, the allodem, the graft, and the allopregraft. The xenograft was invented by our renowned professor, Professor Big Mayang, the positive one. Next slide, please. Okay, the process of production of the xenograft is it, it generally starts with the cutting of the pig skin, after which it is then reserved in the cryotic, in cryoprotective solution of liquid nitrogen of one, minus 196 degrees Celsius. Uh, degree Celsius. This gives the, 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 the thermograph in anabiotic state, and after which we slide utilize the negative pressure and sterilize with radioactive methods. Next slide, please. This uh, micrograph shows the, the fixation of the thermograft on the wound surface. You can see the capillarization of the tissues, and the, it enhances the, uh, the it enhances the regeneration of the tissue. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. The xenograft xenograph is usually used as a form of treatment in superficial bones. It's very effective in treatment of superficial bones, especially superficial bones of uh, first degree, second degree. And First to the second, third degree A. It has the uh, protection of the loss of blood, elect electrolytes, and proteins, which is usually the most common pro complications with hypovolemic sugar. It also decreases the pain, prevents bone disease, and prevents scarring. Next slide, please. We have a patient of nine years old who had second degree bone. The first slide shows the, the patient after necrectomy. The second slide shows the use of the xenodermograft, while the third slide shows the epitalization of the tissue after the xenodermograft. Next slide, please. Back to another patient, we have uh, used this xenodermograft. Uh, another patient with a xenodermograft of second degree bond. It was the xenodermograft. Sorry. It is being used, the xenodermograft. Dermatome. The dermatome is used to clear up all necrotic tissues before we apply the xenograft. This part is used. We have the wound after application of xenograft and capitalization. This picture shows capitalization after xenograft. Next slide, please. Xenodermograph. The xenodermograph is effect is used as temporary covering in deep bones, unlike the superficial bones when it is used for permanent covering of the bones. But for deep bones, it's usually used as temporary covering, well, especially in cases where we have limited water skins for donor transplantation. It is always it's effective in case of large bones, unstable patient states, especially when the patient is brought into the hospital and stable. You can't just take the patient for surgery, so you have to use a temporary covering. The xenodermograph is effective in that. It's also used in when the wounds are not very clear. These are usually situations where patients 
try to give themselves a self treatment after which they now begin to have residents and coolant production. So they now when they come to the hospital in such situations, they don't use uh, the solar thermography is usually just a temporary problem before the permanent autograph is being done. That's the question. Thank you very much. We have a, a video a video clip of a one of our patients that had seven seven one of one degree wounds.
and takes a longer time, it's only going to take a shorter, a shorter, a shorter time. So still they have to be healing is on residual wounds. The residual wounds are being healed. Stimulation, stimulation of the patient without, without narcotics. After the patient is discharged and taken for the infection. The successful treatment of patients with severe wounds is possible without the usage of skin substitute like the filazinograft. These the filazinograft have been the invention has been for the past 15 years in Ukraine, and this was invented by our renowned professor, Professor Bingo Yang Volodimon. It has been saving several lives in Ukraine for the past 15 years. Approximately 1.3 million uh, square meters of cellograft is being used annually in Ukraine. Thank you very much.